Hi there, welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. This is Mr. Hegarty here, and in this video we're going to find uh, a fraction of an amount. So just to make it clear, um, we're working on fractions of an amount, and our aim is to be able to find a fraction of any given quantity. It's a typical GCSE question, comes up a lot, and a skill you need in life. Okay, so let's do a few examples. So, in this example, we're going to work out the following. We've got a few questions to go through. The big idea here I would like you to do, okay, I would like you to draw pictures to represent these. When you draw a picture, it makes it much easier to understand, much less likely to make a mistake, and it's just good for your brain. It gives you a chance to process the information. So firstly, we're going to work out one quarter of 40. And what I'm going to do in order to do this is I'm going to draw a box. And that box is going to represent the total amount, which is 40. So this box here represents the total of 40. Now I want one quarter of 40. I want one quarter of this box. What I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the box into quarters. So I'm firstly going to halve it. Okay, and then I'm going to halve that again so I have quarters. And the question is, um, what goes in to one box? Because one of the boxes represents a quarter, so we want to find out what goes in one of the boxes. Now, you can do that in a number of ways. You can think what number added together four times adds up to 40, um, and clearly you can see it would be 10, 10, 10, 10, or do a division in your head. Do 40 shared out amongst 4, and it would be 10 in each box. We want one box, so our answer is equal to 10, and we're done. OK, let's move on to the next example. We're asked to work out 3 quarters of $40. Now, what's different in this question? Well, firstly, obviously, it's 3 quarters, not 1 quarter, but it's the same numbers in principle um, with the 40. But we have a dollar sign here, so we have a unit associated with our amount. We must give a unit in our answer. There may be two marks for this in an exam. So exactly as we did before, what we're going to do, we're going to draw a box out that represents the total amount, which is 40. We're going to split this into um, quarters, so we're going to half it, and then we're going to half it again. So we have quarters. What goes in each box? Well, we had worked that out previously because 40 divided into four boxes would be 10. So 10 goes in each box. But this time we want three of the quarters. We want three of those quarters. So this is the amount we want, which is 10. Add 10 is 20. Add another 10 is 30. Key thing here, don't just write equals 30. 30 what? 30 dollars okay there may be a mark for the unit in the exam okay let's keep going just another two where the numbers are ever so slightly trickier four sevenths of 35 kilograms again we have units so let's draw out our box now we don't have to be exactly accurate with sevenths here because it's more difficult to draw sevenths and quarters but we're going to split our box uh, our box obviously which represents 35 kilograms in total so we're going to split our box into sevenths. So approximately, it doesn't have to be exactly right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, it, it, they, they represent equal amounts here, but when you're drawing it, you're just modeling the problem. You don't have to worry too much uh, whether they don't look exactly right. Now the question is, what goes in each box? Well, uh, we have 35 shared out into seven equal boxes, and the answer is five. Or if you struggle with your divisions, think of what number um, multiplied by uh, seven gives you 35, and hopefully you can come up with five. So five goes in each box. There we go. And we want four of those sevens. So we want four of the boxes as follows. And the answer will be five plus five plus five plus five, which is 20 but make sure you write the unit is 20 kilograms. Okay, and lastly, um, we want 3 tenths of 120 miles. So let's draw the picture for that again. So we're going to draw a box. 
and that box represents 120 miles. We want to separate it into tenths. Um, okay, so I'm going to halve it, and in each of these, I'm going to have five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, again, don't worry if it doesn't look exactly right. Um, there should be 10 boxes. Now, the question is what goes in each box? Well, obviously, you can do a division. 120 divided by 10 is obviously 12. Or what multiplied by 10 gives you 120? It will be 12. So 12 goes in each box as follows. And we want three of those tenths. So we want three of those tenths. And it would be 12 add 12, add another 12, which is equal to 36. And obviously, write down your unit, this would be equal to 36 miles. And there we go, that's how to work a fraction of an amount out. Okay, last slide, just for your purposes here, there's a past paper exam question. Okay, there is a section in here where we work out fraction of amounts. Check you can do that part. Um, using the method we've just talked about and if you, if you want to check your answer it's also on the website in the past paper section. Thank you very much for watching.